We are going to solve problem number 364 on lead code nested list weight sum 2. So in this problem we are given with a nested list of integers we call it nested list and each element is either an integer or a list. Now uh, the problem also states what is a depth and what is maximum weight and what is weight. Uh, we need to output um, for each integer in the nested list, the integer multiplied by its weight. So uh, let's understand the question in uh, detail. So as stated earlier, we are given with a nested list and this may contain an integer or another nested list. So let us see with an example. See, this is a nested list. It may have an integer value here or it may contain a list. So this is a list, this is a list, and this is an integer. Now, this list is also a nested list, which means this list then will contain either an integer or a list. Then this list may contain either an integer or another list. So, um, so that is about the list. Then um, the question also tells us about what is depth and what is weight. So depth is number of lists that an integer is inside of. Let us see. So see, this is one list and this integer is inside of this list, only one list, which means the depth of this integer is going to be one. Similarly, if we are talking about the list in green, then these two numbers are inside of a list which is inside of another list. So the depth of this is going to be 3. Depth of this one, 1. Depth of this one is going to be 2. Depth of this one is going to be 3. And if you see this one, the depth is going to be 4. Let's talk about weight. So weight is nothing but maximum depth plus one and we subtract the depth of the particular integer that we are talking about from it. So let us take an example again. Um, so what do you see? What is the maximum depth in this particular case? It is going to be as discussed one, two, three, four. So four is our maximum depth here. 4 plus 1 would be 5, 5 minus, for this integer it is going to be 5 minus 1, so that is 4. For this, 5 minus 2, that is going to be 3. And similarly, for this one, uh, the integer with maximum depth, the weight of this integer is going to be 5 minus 4, that is 1. Uh, so if you could notice this, the structure looks pretty similar to a tree. Um, can we actually visualize it like a tree? Yes, we can. So uh, consider every list as a node and you could consider the value of that node as zero. Let us uh, see. So I'll take it as zero in the beginning and then we have one, two, and three. These three nodes. So zero will have three nodes. This one is also a list, so I'll call it zero again. This is four, four, and then another list, so I'll call it zero. All right? Um, in fact, let me color code it so it is clearer for you. So this is going to be uh, zero, then four, then zero, and then one. I'll take red for the next level. So this has two and three. 4 has got no children, then this one has 1 and 2, 2 children. 
so 4 will be uh, sorry 0 will be 1 and another 0 for this list and then one has no children let's go to next level that is color coded in green so we are talking about this node 3 2 and then uh, 0 again and then finally it has just one node that is 5 talking about depth of these let us see so this is depth 1 this is depth 2 this is depth 3 and this is depth 4 4 happens to be our maximum depth so I'll call it max depth okay what about weight so uh, remember the definition maximum depth plus one minus depth of an integer maximum depth is four so uh, four plus one is going to be five and five minus depth of an integer so for this it is going to be uh, weight let's say in green so for this it is going to be five minus one four weight four and then three and then for this two and then for this one now what is the question asking us to output uh, it is going to be sum of weight of each integer multiplied by each the integer itself weight of each engine each integer so this weight multiplied by the integer itself and then we plus all of them so this is one way of uh, visualizing it um, let me put it in a table as well just for a clear understanding right so this is going to be depth uh, let's start with the first level itself so depth is going to be 1 4 and 1 then let's take the next level so depth is going to be 2 and then we have 2 here 3 1 let's take next level this is going to be depth 3 3 and 2 and then finally depth 4 and we have 5 here and as you can see uh, 4 is going to be our max max depth cool now we're talking about weights weight is the opposite of depth as you can see so weight for this is 4 3 2 and 1 um, let's also see how to output it right so one way of doing it would be uh, you can multiply 4 by 4 and then 1 with 4 and then add them so it is going to be 4 multiplied by 4 16 and then 4 multiplied by 1 4 so 16 plus 4 is going to be 20 so 20 is going to be the sum for these two integers so one way of doing it is this you you iteratively uh, uh, add it for each each depth level and then finally output it there is another way which is more intuitive uh, that we are going to try here let us see Hmm. So what do we have here? 4 and 1. So we'll write it as 4 plus um, just a second. Yeah. So we have 4 plus 1 here. So we'll add um, all the integers of that level and write the output here. That is going to be 4 1 plus 4 4 plus 1 um, then let's go to the next level that is this one 2 plus 3 plus 1 2 plus 3 plus 1 now in addition to this I'll also write the number which is written on, on top of this one okay 
so let's do plus 1 plus 4 what about this level okay let's go so this is going to be 3 plus 2 and then we take it from there I can actually copy and paste it as well I guess right so 3 plus 2 and then plus small plus okay plus 2 plus 3 plus 1 and then in the end uh, for this it is going to be 5 so I'll write 5 plus and the rest of the number so let me just do it here mm. and there you go now our answer is going to be addition of all of them that's going to be our answer why uh, okay so just think about it we have one we have four here we have one here and according to the question we had to sum weight of each integer with the integer itself so 4 multiplied by 4 see how many times we are counting 4 4 4 4 4 4 times same is the cases same as the case for 1 so 1 we are counting 4 times similarly 2 3 1 see how many times we are counting them 2 3 1 1 2 and 3 3 and 2 it had to be multiplied with uh, the weight which is 2 so 3 multiplied by 2 plus 2 multiplied by 2 we can also do this thing so 3 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 right and then finally 5 so if we add all of these numbers the the answer that we are going to get is going to be the final output that we have to send back so i hope that makes sense and if it does let's go and code the solution solution is actually the easier part it was more difficult to understand this equation once you understand this everything else is quite easy so let's go and start coding so i am going to create two variables here one to contain the final sum we'll call it sum and the other one to contain the sum of the level itself and we call it level sum and we initialize it at zero we have nested list which is already there and other than that let's have one more one more array i'll call it next list and i'll initialize it with an empty array now let's start a loop and this loop should run until nested list has something in it now uh, so on the place of initializing it outside loop let's just put it inside um, now we are going to loop over all the items of nested list so i'll call it let item of nested list and if you remember from our discussion an item could either be an integer or it could be a list itself if it is an integer we should add it to our level sum so if item is integer uh, is integer is a method which is defined here so uh, the nested integer class has got a lot of methods and we are going to use is integer and uh, get integer here i think the rest of the methods are of no use to us right now uh, maybe get list so if item is an integer we get the value of the integer that will be item dot get integer and we should add it to our level sum so level sum becomes level sum plus in 
item dot get integer that's all right if item is not integer that means it is going to be a list in that case we make a use of next list and we push the list items into next list and before pushing it we flatten the list one level so we do item dot get list like this now at the end of for loop we should make sure that we are not forgetting sum so sum becomes sum plus level sum and nested list becomes next list uh, so could you see what just happened there so we created next list here next list is going to contain every list that is there in nested list not every list uh, the list which is at the same level as we are right now so on the same level whatever lists are there they are going to be contained inside next list um, we extracted all the integers we added them to level sum and then at the end of the loop nested list gets reassigned to next list next list that we just built here now the key thing to uh, understand is that we did not reinitialize level sum anywhere so level sum was only initialized once which means in each iteration of the loop whatever level sum is there it gets added again and again and again so it gets added until the we reach the maximum depth right and that's the reason now when we return sum here it is going to contain our answer let us see yeah it works well let's try example cases that's right let's submit it yeah i think this is good it worked thanks a lot for watching